Hi, this is Dusty. Today, I just want to make a video on Cyberpunk 2077. Mostly to create a very strong character start from uh, as of point 1.6. Keep in mind that um, this build is going to differ uh, whether you're playing on PC or you're playing on console. So to start off, let's start with well, uh, the backstory or your life path. Um, I can... Anyways, technically you could start with any uh, life path, but the thing is, with the new transmog system, the only way you could get um, the the only way you could get the corpo suit for uh, V is by starting as a corpo if you're on consoles. It doesn't matter if you're on PC, but since you could uh, pretty much purchase it uh, inside the game on the computer, but yeah. So if you want to start with a tux or not a tux, but a suit on console, you're going to need to start as a corpo. And as for the stats, we're starting with five reflex because our main weapon is going to optimize the usage of uh, the skills offered by five reflex. You can keep these five reflex um, if you're on PC. On um, console, you will want to raise this as one of your first stats. More on that later. As for technical ability, our first level up is to get this to 7 because we're going to upgrade one of the best weapons in the game and acquire one of the uh, acquire one of the best blueprints. Well, you could get the you could use a blueprint from uh, at level 5, but the point to getting it to level 7 is so you could have so you could gather enough parts to keep upgrading it or um, create new ones. As for cool, uh, we're going to get this to seven as well. Directly after uh, we get this to seven. The reason is you want that 15% more damage bonus for cool. So anyways, uh, I'm going to get started. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and we're back. We're uh, yeah, still at the beginning. We're in V's apartment. We just left. And anyways, with the new transmog system, you could keep your um, uh, corpo clothes that you got from the very beginning. This doesn't matter much if you're on PC, but if you're on console, this is the only way you could get um, some and formal clothing right from the get-go. On PC, you have mods such as getting stuff online from your home PC. So from the home PC, I could have just bought the Nomad clothes, the Big Kid clothes from the computer, and I could just uh, continue to purchase stuff from here. Anyways, since I want this to work on consoles as well, we're going to play like uh, we're on console. So I'm going to upgrade the technical ability to 7 because, as you can see, we need level 7 to unlock this ability. But first, we only have one skill point, so we're going to put it in here. And we're going to grab... Uh, grab points in here later. Not necessary now. Anyways, with cool, we want to get this to seven because of this ability. Like after we get um, the next two levels, we're gonna upgrade to seven to unlock this ability to deal fifteen percent more to human enemies. 
This is one of the largest bonuses you can have using only one point, so we'll grab that. As for reflex, you can keep with that five for a long while. Anyways, since we got the uh, this we got the disassembling perk, we're gonna go ahead and disassemble all the stuff we don't need. Oops. Make sure we don't need this either. It won't actually let you disassemble what you have equipped, so. As you can see, we already have a good chunk of parts. So, next we're going to pick up um, one of the strongest guns in the game. And it's very unique because you could carry this gun from beginning to end and it will still be one of the most powerful guns you own. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Hey, call yo, me a collector. Me. Oh, anyways, if you... Anyways, you don't want to skip this, otherwise you're gonna... You might lose out on your quest, so... So, um... We're gonna come here. Ah, uh, just for this video alone. I'm going to skip that quest, but you don't want to skip that quest on your game. Let's have a look. Anyways. You're here to pick up this gun. This is the gun that could carry you from uh, level 2 all the way to level 50 as long as you keep it upgraded. The reason why this is so good is because it has increased headshot damage and reduces reload time. This is very good. And I'll show you why in a bit. So, let's go ahead and purchase this. Yes. Thanks could. a lot. Anyways, as I said, this gun, uh, this gun, um, has extra headshot damage and extra or and reloads a lot faster and it just so happens that from your handgun skills starting at you get uh a you get perks to upgrade the headshot damage and reload speed along with its damage and crit chance so just with level five uh just at level 5, the gun already operates at uh, almost max capacity. So, you could keep this for the rest of the game if you want, but yes, it is possible to just beat the game with just these four perks. Anyways, the other reason why we want this gun in particular is at its green quality. So, going back to crafting, we're going to upgrades, and we're going to upgrade this weapon. And because it only uses the most common parts and these parts, you're always going to have enough material to upgrade this, as long as you continue to disassemble parts as you're going, uh, going through the game. So, let's do that now. Upgrade, upgrade. So, I can upgrade again once I reach level 3. So, as you can see, as long as I keep upgrading this, 
it's only going to use these two parts, and uh, it's all damage is always going to be up to date. So this is one of the guns that you're going to uh, keep through the rest of the game. The only time I suggest upgrading this is at level 50, or when you think you could farm enough blue parts. So. Anyways, that's all I have for uh, the first gun. I'm going to go pick up the cyber, uh, not cyber, what's it called? I'm going to pick up a quick hack. That's it. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay. We just went over here to pick up the ping quick hack. Uh, we started up at V's apartment, which is over here. We got to the Ripper Dock. Got our um got our initial cybernetics, so and then we're over here going to pick up the quick hack. It's free, so don't worry about uh, bringing any cash. T Bug sent me. Okay, glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. is what we want you come back here later pick up this uh any of these but right now all we need is ping so we'll replace short circuit because we're not going to need it for a very long while for extra xp you're going to you might want a breach protocol, but for now. Finish up this quest. 1C55. Okay. Since we're done, we're going to head over to... Uh, Let's see, where is it exactly? Right, over here, there should be a entrance to one of the bosses we want to fight for uh, the blueprint to one of the best weapons in the game. So I'll be right back once I get there. Okay, we're back. We're over here at Pershing Street. So this is the apartment. We picked up the quick hack here. Uh, we're now over here at Pershing Street. So if you head north northwest from here, you should see this garage where that guy's gonna gun down that person. Anyways, that's the place we need to be. Anyways, we're going to leave this body over here. We don't want the sniper to find it, so... We're going to mark this guy. And then use our... Ping.
There's a guy up there. There's a sniper over there. Okay, we're gonna quick save it now. Okay, we're gonna do another quick save. Perfect. another quick save here because there's always a risk that he's gonna spot me right since he spotted me load game Is a small fix to that. Give me a second. Oh, he turned around now. Okay. without breach protocol, so... save.
Well, whatever. That's the enemy we want. Uh, yeah, it's just so fast. Anyway, she has the saw that's what we're looking for uh, let's finish these guys off this for now we got the we got the um crafting spec be right back oh uh let's grab this so we can actually make the gun and one point of that anyways i'm gonna collect all this junk disassemble it and i'll be right back Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I already marked up the enemies so I could see them through the walls. Anyways, um, I picked up, I picked up these two skills earlier, the crew craftsman, so I can start crafting blue gear or blue weapons, and I picked up this, so I could start, uh, getting higher quality, getting higher quality components when I disassemble stuff. So as you see I already have um this many parts. And we're gonna go ahead and craft this buzzsaw. As you can see why we picked this up from the boss earlier and why it's so important is because it has the uh ability to uh shoot high penetration rounds as a machine gun so this means this is one of the only machine guns that could shoot straight through walls without being a tech weapon and you could get this at the beginning of the game as i've shown so let's go ahead and craft this and why it's important that you could craft this is because as you level up you could upgrade this as you go and once the upgrading starts getting too expensive you could just um craft another one and then your buzzsaw will be up to date so that's the beauty of these two weapons um with the let's go ahead and upgrade this 
technically you don't have to, but why not? Anyways, with this, you could upgrade this endlessly with the most basic parts. And with this, you could upgrade to an extent and then you could, uh, you could just disassemble it and craft another one. So it's upgrade cost would be back to the bare minimum. So you could use these weapons all the way from level, uh, level two all the way to 50 if you want. Anyways, what makes this, this particular, uh, Let's equip it first. What makes this uh, machine gun? Power submachine gun. So good is, yeah, it's it's very cost effective, and it's one of the best weapons in the game. Let's go ahead and quick save. And since I already marked the enemies with ping earlier, let's go ahead and shoot them. Yeah, I can shoot them, but they can't shoot me. No, if they wanted to reach me, they would have had to circle around. So, yeah, I shot them through the wall, and that was the result. So, at level two, I already have two of the best weapons in the game. This I could upgrade endlessly for cheap. This one I could just keep crafting over and over again. And... Um, I could just, one second, and also I could craft infinite amount of these knives. They're, they can also be made for super cheap and it's one of your best, um, and it's one of your best melee options from beginning to end because, uh, with cool, you can throw these knives over and over again. They, and you can just keep crafting it uh, to sort of have the best throwing knife option uh, always available. So there's that. And well, that about covers it. Thank you very much for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time.